gets ready. So they're coming up on gate. This is the running of the fourth, the Australian Transplant Games pace. Arctic's the inside runner. And we're just about set. Mobile takes the field into the back. We're just about set to run. Race four. Set. And they're off. And a perfect line from the front. Out deep on the track, beginning quickly was Extreme Prince, showing any amount of early toe. No speed at all shown by Bending Spoons. And Extreme Prince is driving across the face of the field and will find the top. Extreme Prince went to the lead over Arctic Stonebridge Royal and the favourite Black Warrior presses forward. Next in the running line is That's Firepower and they were followed up on the inside by I Will Be Famous trying to save some ground. Further back then came I Will Defy and back at the tail is Bending Spoons. Extreme Prince led the way. Black Warrior went around the outside and sits second without cover at the leader's wheel. Arctic third. And then came Stonebridge Royal and next the insiders I Will Be Famous. It's being covered up by That's Firepower. A length and a half away to I Will Defy and last of all is Bending Spoons. The league time was a crack at 36 and 7. And as they go into the back straight, 1,400 metres left to go. The leader is Extreme Prince. The margins are half length. In second, Posse Black Warrior. Third locked away is Arctic. And next in the 1-1 one, one is Stonebridge Royal. Covering up, I will be famous. A half length away then came. That's Firepower on the outside. Two I will defy. And last of all is Bending Spoons. First quarter of the last mile was 31-2 and two as they sweep out of the back straight and move towards the home turn. And the leader is Extreme Prince, carrying the colours of Oscar Gat. Leads the way by a half on the odds-on favourite Black Warrior. Third under lock and key is Arctic. Next Stonebridge Royal. I will be famous being tapped up, followed by That's Firepower. The last pair are bending spoons up on the inside of I Will Defy. Second split. It was 29-8. 61 half as they sweep out of the straight now and head into the back straight the final time it's extreme prince looking for the treble of wins leads the way by three parts getting a little closer black warrior arctics on a loose rein yielding ground then was stonebridge royal followed by i will be famous that's firepower bending spoons and last of all is i will defy that's firepower takes off three deep the leader still is extreme prince and it leads by a half on black warrior that's firepower working around the outside three deep starts to run on and ditto for Bending Spoons. Further back then a Stonebridge Royal and Arctic drops out of it but it's a two horse war at the moment. It's Extreme Prince a half length in front. Black Warrior, Bending Spoons and that's Firepower are battling out third there. Clear of I will be famous. The leader is Extreme Prince. Corey Bell shooting for a double. It gets about a length in front. Trying hard as Black Warrior clear of Bending Spoons but it's going to be Extreme Prince. Extreme Prince although wanting to wobble up the straight a bit has been too good to beat Black Warrior. Third home in the race goes Bending Spoons close up was that's firepower they got right away then from I will be famous long margin off Stonebridge Royal I will defy and the last one in was Arctic stand by for the result extreme prince that's a double for Pizzuto and Bell and they've managed to produce the goods here extreme prince makes it three straight Bay Gilding five extreme three queen of the May owned by Deeds Avazanos W Viney K Pizzuto Kevin Pizzuto and Corey Bell pick up a double it's 6453 official in 2362, 1583 the rate, 31 2, 29 8, 29 2, and 29 3, and margins were 3 metres by 12 and a half. 3 by 12 and a half on race number 4. check in with uh, at the presentation only just moving up to uh, Sydney from the Riverina region 
And uh, he was all set to go to Tasmania, in fact, Corey, but uh, got an offer from the uh, Sydney barn and decided to stick in New South Wales and on the mainland. And Corey has got off to a good start in his time here in Sydney with uh, a double for Pizzuto. Uh, Kevin Pizzuto's stable on fire at the moment. And there's a double already in the first four races.